Hello, happy Friday, and welcome back to the Argon Mining YouTube channel. I'm Ashton, and today I want to walk through uh, CasperBot as it relates to KRC20 uh, on the Casper ecosystem. So on launch day, June 30th, uh, CasperBot was functional. It's a Telegram bot. Uh, that allowed for minting, deploying, sending, and receiving of KRC20 tokens uh, on the Casper network. Um, CasperBot has been doing a lot of really good work for the community. Uh, their bot on launch day actually functioned quite well uh, from the conversations I've had with folks and from uh, the data that we've looked at with uh, the number of mints that went through you know, CasperBot compared to the Casware wallet where a lot of us were having pretty significant issues. Um, so today I want to talk a little bit about CasperBot. Um, I have been in contact with their team directly, um, so their, their CEO on Telegram, uh, and I've talked to Caspador, uh, a well-respected uh, community dev from the, the Casper ecosystem. Uh, Caspador is the gentleman that actually set up uh, castools.com. Uh, and he has recently tweeted that he is officially working with the CasperBot team, as well as the Casplex uh, protocol team, to build a new wallet uh, that will be available for minting when KRC20 relaunches. Now, CasperBot also has built their own kind of homegrown indexer, based on my knowledge, and they are manually indexing the Casper network to... Uh, find all of the KRC20 transactions, all of the mints that we did on launch day uh, between those two uh, DAA scores that the Casplex team announced. So uh, the open beta started at a certain DAA score that Casplex had announced, and then it closed uh, at another uh, DAA score that the Casplex team had announced. That closure DAA score was 83,525,600. Um, so 8352500. So any of the mints that went through prior to that DAA score were valid and they were, you know, you were given KRC20 tokens in exchange for those mints just like we expected. Of course, since the close of that beta, since that pause, um, any mints that happened after that DAA score, so after, you know, CASPA mainnet DAA of 83525600, uh, were invalid because of the pause, and Casplex had announced that with some notice. Uh, so we're kind of all under under that the impression, under the understanding that that that's normal that those mints uh, were invalid after that DAA score. So the thing I want to talk about today, and the thing the reason I'm making this video, is that Casperbot their their inbuilt indexer. Uh, is able to give us a little bit of information or, or starting to give us some information about mints and balances and things like that with KRC20. So the thing I want to make crystal clear is that CasperBot is manually indexing all of these transactions and they won't know for sure that the data is complete and accurate until they're done completely indexing. And the truth of the matter is CasperBot isn't a source for valid, you know, confirmed information around KRC20 balances. The only source of truth for those KRC20 balances is the Casplex protocol. And we'll be able to confirm all of that once the Casplex protocol and indexer APIs get turned back on, and we can start looking at this data through tools that we're all familiar with, like cas.fyi, for example. So before we get into this tutorial on how to check your tentative, possibly inaccurate balance on CasperBot, I want to be clear. These balance numbers might change. I've already seen that with my own balances testing this out on CasperBot. As they index more mainnet transactions, more accuracy comes to the data set that they've indexed. So what you're going to see could be accurate, but it is most likely not 100% accurate yet. So if you have too many mint transactions, or you have too many KRC20 uh, tokens for what you think you should have, um, that might go down as they find additional transactions. Similarly, I wouldn't worry if, 
your balance is lower than what you expect. They're continuing to index these transactions and more and more data will come to light. Um, much of the process uh, that's going to go on this weekend won't even be updated until Monday. Uh, this is per Dwayne from the CasperBot team in Telegram. Uh, it sounds like he is away from the computer and, and isn't able to process and update all these transactions until Monday. So. Uh, there is certainly some discrepancies in the data, and it may not be 100% accurate yet, but it's still worth looking at. It's worth getting some insight for yourself, and it's worth contributing your wallet's data to this indexer so that they have a more complete data set, and we can continue learning more and more about what happened on launch day uh, for the KRC20 ecosystem. So, with all of that being said, we're not sure if this is accurate. It will probably change, but I want to walk you through how to look at your balance in the Casper bot of your KRC20 uh, tokens. So, uh, this screen that you see in front of me here is the official Casper bot uh, X page, Twitter page. Uh, and I bring this up because this link right here is your best source to make sure you are working with the correct bot in Telegram. So what you're going to do is come to this, this page, right? You can see the, the URL. It's just x.com slash casperbot. Uh, there's no vowels in Casper. So it's just K-S-P-R bot, B-O-T. Um, so click this Telegram link uh, right here, and it will open the Casper bot in Telegram. Uh, so I'm going to let it do that. It'll pop up over here. I'll bring that window in so you can see. Uh, and... It brings up your, your Casper bot home. So deploy mint transfer tokens on Casper mainnet and explore trends. We know that deploying, minting, and transferring is not going to work right now. So the only thing we're using this for is to check our balance. And even that balance may change as the indexer continues picking up more transactions. So we're going to hit start. And then from here, we've got two options. We can look at project progress. Uh, so this is like how many mints has a project done so far. Uh, and then similarly, we can look at the balance. So what we're going to want to do is click check my balance. And then it's going to tell us to enter your Caspa address. Now, if you have a, if you used the Casper bot on launch day, you may have a number of addresses to check. Uh, this Casper bot generated 10 wallets and allowed some people to, to use all 10 of those, you know, simultaneously or one after another. Um, similarly, we can see right here a big call out to those DAA scores. So they've only indexed data between these two DAA scores, which means that these are all active mints. Anything after that DAA score isn't going to be included here. So you've got enter your Casper address. Um, I did not use the Casper bot on launch day. I tried my darndest to get through Casware wallet and, and get that working. So I've got a Casware wallet address. All I need to do is go get that address and paste it in here. I don't have to connect my wallet. I don't need to import my seed phrase. I don't need to share a private key. Nothing that's going to risk the security of your wallet. All you have to do is put in your receiving address in here. Um, so what we're going to do is jump over to uh, Casware and we'll just grab this, this wallet address right here. Um, and then uh, let me pull up Telegram here and we'll just paste that in. And we'll hit enter. And it tells me I've got uh, 68 and some change CAS, and I've got 717,500 Nacho KRC20 tokens. And again, they make really clear here that data will be updated frequently according to the missing transaction that they may find in the future. Every one of us that goes in and checks these addresses helps add to that data set and import all of the data from our wallet and the interactions that our wallet has had on mainnet. So I post this video just to help you understand how you might be able to get some insight into some tentative balance information as it relates to your KRC20 mints and to let you know um, that Given that Caspador is now working with the Casperbot team and that they've got the, the kind of blessing and interaction from, from that Casplex group, uh, we should see a lot more validity to their data and a lot uh, more progress in terms of the wallet that those groups are, are developing themselves. 
Uh, so if you want to come check your, your nacho balance or your, you know, goad balance or whatever it is you tried to mint on launch day, uh, you can come into the Casper bot home here, uh, hit start, hit check my balance, pop in your address from any Casper address that you use to mint, uh, and it will give you some tentative information that may change about your KRC20 uh, balance. So I hope this information helps you guys, and I hope that it's, uh, it's crystal clear that we are still in a holding pattern. We don't know when minting is going to be turned back on. Uh, but it is extremely likely that the wallet coming from Casper Bots and Caspador's efforts uh, will be released and available to us before that minting begins. Um, so if you have the time and the interest, jump into uh, the Casper Bot official X page here. Uh, click that uh, link for Telegram to open up the Casper Home Bot. Uh, and then you can pop your Casware or any other wallet address that you use to mint into the bot. Uh, and take a look at what the bot knows so far as your balance. Uh, if you've got any questions, hop into the Nacho Discord and let me know, uh, or you can leave them in a comment below. Uh, and as I get more updates, as we get more information from these, these really helpful members of the Casper community like Caspador, uh, we'll keep you guys updated on, on what to expect next. Uh, so I hope this helps, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Take care.